Okay, well I'm going to show you how to make a poplet using the iPad app. So first thing we'll do is we'll start off on the settings button and make a new poplet. And a little circle will begin. Now the title of my poplet is the zero product property. So I press the T button and I type in zero product property. Okay, working good. Now if I want to make that larger, I just double click on the, the words and I kind of highlight them and press the T button again and I can press the larger T to make it larger. What do you know? Okay, now how do I create more poplets? Let's say I want to put in a picture. So I can press the little circle to the left and automatically a poplet comes up. And I press the picture icon and it says either I can take a photo or open my library. Well, I already put a picture in my library from zero product property. And there it is. So I want to use this. Done. Woohoo! Looking good. Now, what if I want to put in a YouTube video? Oh, uh, bummer. If I, I can't put a YouTube video in. But you know what? If you're using the web-based service, you can. Oh, well. Nice try. So I'll close it down. Okay. So now I'm going to write out the steps. So I'm going to create a poplet below. And this will go over here. And then next to the steps, I'm going to actually do an equation. So that'll go next to it. And I'm going to color code the words. I think I'll make the words blue. Okay. And then I think I'll do the math pink. I love it. Okay. So the first step in the zero product property is um, set the equation equal to zero. Set the equation equal to zero. Oh, I know. There's a typo error. Let me get rid of it. There we go. Now, for algebra, on the iPad, what's nice is I can actually write on the iPad since it's a tablet. So I'm going to press the pencil icon, and I get to pick my color. I'll pick, um, what color? Maybe pink, since it's a pink bubble. But you know what? I find that it makes it much easier to write if I make it really big. So my equation, whoa, will be 2x squared plus 5x equals negative 2. That was weird. And now I know I have to set it equal to 0, so I'll add 2 to both sides. So I get 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so now to get be done with that, I just press to the side, and there it is. Now it's way too big, so I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, why did it turn yellow in the middle? Interesting. Oh, now it's not. Great, so there's my work. And then I can keep going, and I could create another layer here. Once I have the equation equal to zero, then I must write it, the equation, as a product. Oh, typo error again. Okay, equation as a product. Great. And then I tap. And we can always scroll over. We can pinch to sh make it smaller. And then I can do the math here in my next poplet. Isn't that fun? Now you kind of get the idea. Is there any button I haven't taught you? So I've taught you how to change the color, how to use text, how to pencil and insert an image. Now you will complete, complete your poplet, and then once you are done, you're going to export it. So you click on export, and what you're going to do is you're going to save it as a JPEG. Save. So now it has been saved. Wonderful. So then what you'll do to your with Canvas is you'll go to the Canvas um, assignment. So let's see if I go to Canvas now. Okay, so we can go to Canvas. And then you can log in. And under this assignment, then you will upload this picture. So for my Algebra 1 class, here we go, Algebra 1. Okay, and I'm going to become a student, so I'm going to go see the student view. So I, you can kind of see what the same thing I do. So now I'm a student, okay, and I'm going to go to under assignments, and I can see then if I scroll down, where is, oh, the thinking, there, the thinking map number one. So I click on that. Oh, now I already practiced this earlier, but let's say I want to submit an assignment. So I'll click on submit assignment, and I'm going to choose a file, and it's from my existing and this is my assignment right there. I'll click on it. And if I need to make any comments, I will. Submit. 
And notice then, once it's submitted, it will say you have turned it in and the time and the date. Isn't that lovely? Go get them, team. See you on Monday.